Truth is the bedrock of scripture. And this is fascinatingly demonstrated by Ibn Ezra using the numeric value system coupled with the belief that the entire Aleph bait is composed of sets of three letters, so groups of three throughout the Aleph bait. He translates Proverbs chapter 22 verse 20 in the following way. Have not I written to thee threefold things in counsels and knowledge? And this phrase threefold things is seen by Ibn Ezra to be a reference to the sets of three with which the Torah is composed. Now he begins with bait, he leaves the Aleph, he avoids the Aleph because Aleph, as, as you remember, it represents God himself. So it would be disrespectful to begin the, to, be, to lump the Aleph in with all the other letters. And also the Torah itself begins with the letter bait. You remember the word Bereshit. So Ibn Ezra begins with the bait, and he does this. I'll write down the groups of three first. We won't do them all, but we'll do certain ones. Bait, Gimel, Dalit, Hay, Vav, Zayin, Chet, Tet, Yud, and we'll finish here. Kaf, Lamed, Mem. Now these are the values of, the numeric values of these letters, and he adds them up. Bait is 2, Gimel is 3, Dalit is 4, add them up, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9. The digit sum is 9. Hay is 5, Vav is 6, Zion is 7, Add them up, 5 and 6 is 11, plus 7 is 18. To arrive at the digit sum, we add 8 and 1, that equals 9. The digit sum is 9. Chet is 8, Tet is 9, Yud is 10. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 10 is 27. To get the digit sum, we add the 2 plus the 7 equals 9. Kaf is 20, Lamed is 30, Mem is 40, making 20, 50, 90. To get the digit sum we add 9 and 0 equals 9. The digit sum of all these groups of 3 is 9. And we could proceed right through the Aleph bait in this way, but we haven't got time to do it here. But if you, if you want to do it yourself, carry on through and you'll find that there's always a digit sum of nine. Now, the significance of this is found when we take the letter, the word emet, which you know means truth. Aleph is one. Mem is 40. Tav is 400. 400 plus 40 is 440 plus 1 is 441. To get the digit sum of truth, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 equals 9. Each of the blocks of scripture, each of the blocks of the letters adds up to the same digit sum as truth. Now I'll pause here and wipe the board and show you something else. It's been discussed why God didn't begin the Bible with the first letter of the Aleph Bait, the Aleph. And once again, an interesting phenomenon unfolds. God began, the, the, as you know, with the word Bereshit. He began with the Bait, and we've just seen that that's because there is truth throughout all of the Aleph Bait. Supposing he had begun with Aleph, let's just look, and Ibn Ezra will work this one out. Let's draw it all down again. Aleph, Bait, Gimel. We'll do our groups of three again. Dalit, Hay, Vav, Zion. I'll do it here. Zion, Chet. Sorry, I don't mess up there. Chet, Chet. Tet Yud, Kaf, Lamed, 
I think we'll leave it there. We'll once we've gone forever. The Aleph is let's do the same as we did before. Value numeric value is one. Bait two. Gimel three. Add them up. We get six. Digit sum of six. Dalit is four. Hay is five. Vav is six. Add them up. Four plus five is nine. Plus six is fifteen. To get the digit sum, we add five and one. Six. Zion is seven. Chet is eight. Tet is nine. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Plus nine is twenty-four. Get the digit sum. Add two and four equals six. And finally, the yud is ten. The chet, the chet is twenty. The lamed is thirty. Add them up. We get. 10, 20, 30, 60, 60. Get the digit sum, 6 plus 0 is 6. Well, so what? Well, here we go. If we had if it started with the Aleph, this is how it works out. Let's, uh, let's write the word Sheker down, which you know means falsehood. Falsehood. Now, the values of these letters is... 300, the shin is 300, the kuf is 100, and the resh is 200. Add these together, 200 plus 300 plus 300 equals 600. To get the digit sum, 6 plus 0 plus 0 equals 6. If he'd begun with the aleph, if the Bible had been begun with the Aleph, heaven forbid, it would have been filled with groups of falsehood. But because the, the, the digit sum of all of the, of the groups is six and falsehood is six sheker. And so we can be sure that there are many more such numerical mysteries throughout the Holy Scriptures. God is not only an artist, he's a scientist, he's a mathematician. Hallelujah. Following Moses' request to know God's name so that he could repeat it to the enslaved children of Israel, Exodus 3.13, God replied, I am that I am. And I'll write this down. It's, it's Ehi, Ehiye, Ehiye, Asher, I am that, and then Ehi. He a I am, I won't write it above, I am that I am. The Israelites had waited hopefully for some 210 years, holding on to the final words of Joseph, God will surely visit you, Genesis 50 verse 25. And Joseph was referring back to the promises made to his great grandfather Abraham, his grandfather Isaac and his father Jacob. And God's three simple words Ehiye Asher Ehiye, I am who I am, were to reassure his people of his undying bond with them through the covenant he had made with their forefathers. That bond continued in strength, would never be broken and will continue until the end of this age. God guarantees it. Now Paul was speaking of the Jews when he said, the gift and call of God are irrevocable. Romans chapter 11 verse 29. And now, for the hidden message in the numerics. The Aleph is one, the He is five, the Yud is 10, and the He is five. This amounts to five plus 10 is 15, plus five is 20, plus one is 21, which means that's 21 also, so it's just a repetition of it. So we've got two 21s. Now if we multiply these two 21s together, where was the best place to do it in that? I'll do it in the middle here. 21 times 21. Once one is one, once two is two, put down a zero. Once two is two, two twos are four. 441, if we multiply them together and that just happens to be the numeric sum 
of Emmet, which is 1, 40, 400, 441. And both, of course, have a digit sum of, if you want to get the digit sum, 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Same there, 9. Truth, truth, truth. The God of truth had and has a bond with Israel, which remains firm and true to this day. His bond with us is equally unbreakable. At the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, the modern day children of Israel remind themselves of this as they pray and all believe that he is a true judge who is called Ehiyeh Asher Ehiyeh.